you know, I think it's really important to acknowledge that too often our societal expectations, our sex stereotyping, put too much of a, a burden on the mother in, in the household. There was this one study that I cite in the book in which the mothers who had the biggest paycheck in the household, they were twice as likely to make sure all family responsibilities were taken care of as the households in which the father was the primary breadwinner. I, I'm actually not surprised. It brings me back to my Sunday evening sitting there with my uh, spouse comparing schedules for the week, trying to figure out who can travel and who can go where and when, uh, who has to be around to take care of various things. And that's one element of it. But as you said, there's also what I would call life administration, right? It's making sure the birthdays are not forgotten and their birthday presents ready and all of the relatives know who's giving what and just, you know, it's sort of the small management of actually, you know, a lot of moving parts, knowing where your kids need to be and when to be. And even with a nanny or a babysitter, and I had the privilege of having a nanny as well, you know, somebody has to coordinate with a nanny too, right? And it's, you know, setting the schedule and what needs to be organized and done and where the kids need to be. So there's definitely, you know, a third kind of role. It's not just being the working mom, then coming home and thinking about household chores. It's also the life administrator role, I think, as you pointed it out. Sure, it's called the third shift. And remember, the second shift was documented as all those household and family responsibilities that working mothers had when they got home from work. But the third shift is being the person who's sort of making sure that the trains run on time, that those kids get to the doctor's appointments, that the forms are filled out, that the presents are bought ahead of the birthday party, that there is a birthday party for the kid. And frankly, these younger generation executive moms insist that their life partner be an equal sharing coordinator when it comes to life admin. But there was this great example in the book where you know too much of that third ship responsibility was falling on that younger power mom's shoulders. She was a high powered executive in a corporate council type of role. Her husband also had an executive role. And she said, you need to get more involved here. I'm doing everything in terms of booking the kids' doctor's appointments, taking them to the pediatrician. He said, you're right, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make all the pediatrician appointments and I'll, I'll take the kids to their doctors. And what, what's the doctor's name again? 